The female breast is primarily composed of fatty tissue and mammary glands. Mammary glands drain into the lactiferous sinus, which connects them to the nipple. During pregnancy, mammary glands swell in order to accommodate milk production. This process is regulated by hormones. Breast cancer is a malignant neoplasm of the mammary gland. It is one of the most common causes of cancer fatality in women. Early detection through regular breast examination and mammography is key. Through self-examination, irregularities such as lumps or masses can be detected before the disease has had a chance to spread. The danger associated with all cancer, but especially with breast cancer, is that the disease can travel quickly once it has invaded the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system provides the perfect harbor for cancers to travel through. And this animation shows, um, in, shows what happens in a, a tumor. There are cells which are dividing abnormally. We'll see how in a few minutes. They keep dividing at the expense of the normal cells that surround them. And in three dimensions, once they divide enough, they start to pop out. You can begin to see them with your naked eye, not just under a microscope. And then they recruit blood vessels. They need to recruit blood vessels in order to grow to a size that's greater than just a tenth of an inch in diameter. The blood vessels supply oxygen and nutrients. And the last stage is the metastatic stage. That blue cell in the middle represents a metastatic cell that has come from the primary tumor, tumor, invaded into the blood vessel, and now can also get out of the blood vessel, invade another tissue, and form new cells there. Lower plate. Ooh, that's good. Like this. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'm going to lower the upper plate. Now, it may be a little uncomfortable, but it will only last for a few seconds. I've done mammograms since I was 30 because of family history, and then um, I had a couple come back, suspicious. My gynecologist had told me the same thing. She said, you could have cancer right now. Get to the surgeon. Both women had a decision to make about what to do next. Peg had a large collection of calcium deposits. Vivica was told there was an abnormality, but the mammogram could not get a clear shot. They wanted a second opinion, and what they found, cutting-edge technology. Thermography is a tool, another tool we have in our armamentarium to screen women for breast cancer. The thermogram is a pictorial measurement of the heat generated from the body. It looks like something out of a science fiction movie. But Dr. Darren Clare says the infrared imaging is a tool that can warn women up to a decade before the cancer even forms. It takes 10 years from the moment of uh, the cancer cell starting to be the size of a pea. That 10 years starts probably in the 30s. So we can catch it earlier. The camera is looking for increased blood flow where cancer cells may be forming. You can see right here, uh, this is actually a blood vessel that we don't see over here and it's red and that means it's very warm it's an abnormal type of uh, vascular pattern that again is uh, suspicious and so this particular thermogram is definitely a red flag nice and tall for me thermography is a simple procedure you sit on the stool hold up your arms and the technician takes your picture it is totally non-invasive if you just sit there and have a picture taken no squeezing or yanking involved it's painless, nobody squishes you, and it's quick, it's FDA approved, and better yet, it's radiation free. Peg and Vivica both had a happy ending. Carmelita, who founded the Rose Breast Cancer Society after her mother died of breast cancer, says more women need to know about this procedure. That's one of the other reasons why I do this, is because I don't think any woman should be without their breasts. Dr. Clare does stress this should not replace the mammogram, but be used in combination. There's a recent study which shows that we have a 97% uh, sensitivity towards detecting breast cancer, which is much higher than mammography or thermography individually. Researchers say thermography, which is FDA approved, is great for younger women because of their dense breast tissue.